Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Breitling Montbriant Eclipse. You can see the stainless steel Navitimer inspired modern Breitling watch on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images, and naturally complete pricing for this timepiece. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this is by no means the modern oversized Breitling aesthetic. Now, it's a little bit bigger than the traditional historical Navitimers, but it's not designed as a strict historical tribute. Rather, it combines elements of history and modernity. The watch is 41.5 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the crown or chronograph pushers. In terms of thickness, this is where the watch meets its largest dimension relative to its size. The watch is 15.5 millimeters thick, and you can see that the flank of the case actually looms out a bit wider at the top than at its base, so it will get hung up on the tightest of dress cuffs, but it'll go well with a loose sweater, a sport jacket, or a blazer sleeve. Now, from lug to lug, it's quite manageable. At 47.5 millimeters between extremities, this is a watch that has good stance but won't overwhelm a smaller wrist like mine. My wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, it's about oval and cross section, flat across the top, but the fit of this watch suggests to me that it would wear well on a wrist down to 14.5 millimeters in circumference. Now, the watch has a very, very substantial contrasting stitch Breitling calfskin strap. You can see just how thick it is from the side. So. No shortage of bolstering or leather here. It's very much of a pilot style with the combination of a contrasting white stitch, immense bolstering, and calfskin. It also features a sports watch correct pin buckle, which is easy to use and allows for on the fly adjustability should you be engaged in activity, inactivity, encounter hot or cold weather that can change the size of your wrist and require on-the-fly changes to the fit of the watch. Now the timepiece is all of dial. You can see how the flanks of the case aren't even visible from overhead and even the lugs are marginalized by the span of the circular slide rule. Now you can see the knurling on the exterior. It moves in both directions and it can be used for multiplication and division. You get good with it and you'll be able to beat your friends when tipping at the restaurant as they fumble with their iPhones. Now, the watch takes that element from the classic Navitimer, but inboard it's more of its own thing. It has an identity that's very much the Montbriant Eclipse, not to be confused with a Navitimer reference. You'll note first the historic homage of a toll style dial for the minute counter at 12 o'clock. So you can see the three minute increments that were once used for billing long distance phone charges in the mid-century from about the 40s to the 60s. You can also see that the watch features highly stylized Arabic numerals exaggerated in their size and their sweep. They have phenomenal luminescence at night. Likewise, the elegant alpha style hands at center are different from what's typically seen on the Navitimer models, once again denoting this watch as something unto itself. And the watch's namesake, the bosom style moon phase at six o'clock, makes a nice complement to the other sub-dials of the watch. Constant seconds, minutes, and along a vertical axis, minutes, Canon pinion at center, and moon phase at six o'clock. The watch also features lateral symmetry, seconds at nine o'clock, and a date with a quick set function at three o'clock. It's a handsome and versatile watch, and of course, it retains chronograph functionality. So this is quite a complete watch with equal elements of left brain and right brain appeal, both artistic and mathematical, logical and romantic. Now on the case back, the watch features a number of conversion factors true to its aviation inspiration. This model was only built for two years. Now it's important to note that 1999 to 2000 spanned the chronometer cutoff at Breitling. So you can see the third digit of the case number is a zero pre-chronometer, and it's the caliber A43, which is based on a value 7750, perhaps the 7758 automatic winding with a 42 hour power reserve. It has a very efficient unidirectional winding system, and there's actually a double quick set functionality to the watch. One quick set for the moon phase, when you turn the crown in its second position, turn the crown counterclockwise to adjust the moon phase, turn it clockwise to adjust the date, and of course, very tough. The 7750 is renowned for its resilience, a true sports watch movement. The one limitation on this watch perhaps is with three ATM or 30 meter water resistance, this is very much a land and air sports watch, not one for diving. 
It's also important to note that the watch is a little bit different from modern Breitling specification, not just pre-chronometer, but you can also see from an angle the coloration of the crystal is a little bit different both from acrylic and sapphire and that's because it uses mineral glass. An unusual and rarely seen choice but one that was more common on Breitlings in the 1990s. You can see and you can purchase this incredibly handsome and versatile left brain and right brain appealing Breitling Montbriant Eclipse on our website.